In today's video, I want to talk to you about product titles in your Google Shopping feed. Uh, because product titles are the main thing that Google relies on to match your products to an actual search query. So by having product titles that are well optimized, that have the right keywords, it enables you to show for more products and get more quality visitors that are looking for the exact products that you sell. So we'll start out by looking at a couple of examples of how brands have optimized their product titles. And then at the end, I'll take you through an example and we'll look at actually a brand at the product titles they have on their website versus the product titles they have in their product feeds. And I'm sure it will be very helpful in thinking about how you can improve your own product titles. So let's jump in. So first up, uh, I wanna share with you um, a study that was done by Creatalytics a couple of years ago um, that really shows um, the importance of working on, on your titles. So on the left hand side, you can see the baseline, uh, the account average. Um, and then on the, in the middle, you can see actually what happened when they optimized the product titles, when they figure out which search queries to actually put in it. So you can see an 18% um, increase in click through rate. Um, so with that, j just that metric, the click through rate might not mean a lot to you. Uh, but having a good click through rate can really make the difference between you getting the click versus your competitors. Um, it also gives an indication to Google that your products are more relevant, which plays into the, the quality score, which we can see in Google Shopping, but is there. So increasing your click through rate is always a good idea. Um, on the right hand side, you can see um, a special case of those optimized product titles where um, a specific search query was added to a product and if that specific search query matched exactly with what a person was looking for, um, they saw an, an 88% increase um, in click-through rate. So that shows that for certain phrases, uh, it can really make the difference. So these changes in click-through rate are great and they definitely help to improve the quality of your campaigns. Uh, but sometimes adding a specific search term or, or key phrase to your product title can make the difference between it showing and it not really showing. So before there was a, a title in this product, the Adidas original Adilet slider flip flops and then the product number. Um, so the only difference they made um, with, the, with the new title is put Adidas slides in front of it. Uh, so by just doing that, they saw a 2,700% almost uh, increase in, in impressions. So that, that's huge. So if this is the main Adidas slides that they're selling, uh, that, that, that's really where, where they wanna, want to shine. So another example, um, similarly, less big of an improvement. So this um, product actually got a 426% uh, increase in impressions. Um, by just putting the word tuxedo in front of the title. Um, so that's all they did. The word tuxedo was already in the product title, so it's not that it was missing, but just putting it up front really, um, really made, made it clear to Google that they wanted to show up for that really head term. So now that you have a good idea on the power of those product titles, how can you improve your own? Well, the first thing to be aware of is the character cutoff. So in Google Shopping Ads, Google doesn't display the whole product title um, if it's too long. The usual cutoff on desktop is around 35 characters and on mobile, sometimes you only have 25 characters. So that's why you wanna make sure that you have the most important information right at the front of your um, title. So that's also why those examples in the first part um, with small keywords added to the front of the product title were so effective because that's the main thing what people see. Now, when it comes to improving your own product titles, it kind of depends which products you're selling, whether you're selling known brands or unknown brands. The first one is if you're selling known brands and products. Second is if you're selling unknown brands and products, right? So uh, while the two might seem very similar, um, I'll go into more detail on why they are actually different. So first, if we're improving product titles for brands that are known, for products that people know, um, the first thing is just to make sure that you include the actual product and brand names um, in, in the search. You would be surprised, uh, this might seem very obvious, but sometimes it is missing. And this essential piece of information can really mean the difference between showing up for some random searches versus showing up for what's actually being shown. 
So sometimes you want to reorder the words to make sure that the important parts come first. So I was working with a client that was selling sneakers, but they had the word sneaker buried as the seventh or eighth word in the product title. So just moving that up really helps them to get more visibility. The third tip for improving your product titles for known brands and products is to add heavily searched terms to the front. Um, you saw the, uh, the example of the Adidas slides or tuxedo. Um, so even though you might already have them in your product titles, just playing around with them and, and make, putting the popular terms up front can really have um, a big impact. Now, when you're selling product titles for brands that are unknown or for products that don't, people don't know yet. So this might be um, your own brands or just third party brands that you're reselling where, where people just aren't searching for it. So this is what, what SEO is all about. It's about finding those popular search terms, even though people might not be searching for your brand or products, but find those search terms um, through keyword research tools, maybe in your search terms report, or if you're a bit more advanced through an n-gram analysis, it's kind of an analysis that looks at all the data in your account and figure out like which keywords to actually um, add to your product titles. So I was searching for waterproof eyeliner and then a shopping ad uh, for this product popped up where they actually mentioned waterproof eyeliner. So when I clicked through to the website, I saw that in the product title, they also have waterproof eyeliner. So even though the name of the um, product is Infinity and the, the brand is called Thrive Cosmetics, um, so I don't know the, the brands or the product that well, but I assume that a lot more people are looking for waterproof eyeliner versus Thrive Cosmetics or Infinity um, eyeliner or something. Um, so they kind of did the, the SEO work, the keyword research to make sure that this important phrase is in the product title. And if they then copy those titles to the product feed, they also have this um, optimization already baked in. But other stores might not necessarily have this thing built in. So here, for example, we see a company called Judy. They sell emergency kits. And here are their four different products. Um, their product names, so, so it's, it looks very well. It's very well designed. Um, and it has a very um, specific branding appeal to it. And they, they also did this for their actual product titles. So here's actually one of their products. Um, it's called The Safe, and, and they have a, a subtitle there, The World's Smartest Emergency Kit. So it's immediately clear for the person landing on the page. But if we were to use this product title, The Safe, um, as our product title in Google Merchant Center, um, we would really depend on people knowing the actual product name. So this product would show up probably for some searches for the brand, for Judy, or for The Safe, but I'm assuming that that's like fairly limited compared to all of the other searches that they could get um, with stuff like emergency kit. Um, but that's not what they did. When I searched for emergency kit, that same product pops up with a totally different product name, right? So you can see here, family emergency preparedness kit, um, 72 hours safety, first aid, food warmed, um, water, tools, etc. cetera. Um, so they have a, a, a product title that's a lot better, that's a lot more keyword rich. So here is the comparison of the two. On the left hand, what's on the website, so the safe, that's the product title, and on the right hand side, what's actually in the product feed. So you can see here, two good um, keywords, emergency preparedness kit, and that's 72 hours. Um, I didn't know, but apparently in emergency preparedness, 72 hours, having enough supplies to last that long is important. So um, adding that can really um, ma make a difference. Um, now, this is only one of their products. So they have a couple of, uh, of different products, which actually all are emergency kits. So then another problem appears. Um, it, you have like your core keywords that you, that you want to rank for, uh, but what if you have multiple products? Uh, within, in search campaigns um, or in SEO, you can actually try and um, ra uh, rank a category page, right? Which has all the emergency kits. But for product ads, we need a specific product page to put in the ad. So how do, do we distinguish? Which product do we decide should focus on the emergency preparedness kit? Which product is the best for that? 
and how are we gonna position our, our other products? Um, so hopefully if you have a big product lineup, you do have differences between the products and it, it, you're able to kind of explain to people um, which product they should get. So for this brand, um, they have a couple of different products at different price points. So this one, the safe is their most expensive product. Um, and so they try to do it family emergency preparedness kit, right? So for the whole family. So if you're just by yourself or, or a couple or something, this is probably, um, this, this is probably not for you. I, I'm not a survival expert, so um, don't hold me to that. Uh, but let's look at another product. So they have another one, the Mover Max. Um, and there you can see they've also adapted a product title. Um, so interestingly, they have their, their cute product title, um, as I call it, like Mover Max from Judy. They just push that all the way to the end, right? So it's still there. If people are looking for that product title, they will see it, but it's totally, um, totally at the end. Uh, and there they focus on a slightly different um, set of keywords, right? So you can see preparedness backpack kit, right? So it's not the emergency kit, uh, but the emergency backpack kit. Um, they have a four person go back. That's another important word that, but people that are looking for these products, this is how they would describe it. And then again, survival essentials. That's also a product um, or a keyword better that they want to rank for. Then lastly, they have um, a cheaper product called the starter and they position this as the emergency first aid kit, fanny pack, um, and a couple of other keywords in there, portable safety kit, packed with first aid supplies and emergency tools. And then at the end again, the starter from Judy. So using these keyword rich product titles um, in their product feed uh, allows them to show up for so many more searches than if they would stick to the titles that are on their website, right? So how many people are looking for the safe or mover max or the starter? Uh, probably very, very few people, while the other keywords, they're pretty massive. So if you like this video and you would like to see more videos like this, be sure to subscribe and give this video uh, the thumbs up. Thanks for watching and see you next time.